Hi everyone, time for uh, almost like the next step. If you, if you have your draw, you're hitting it pretty good. It would be nice to also be able to hit it high when you want and low when you want. So how do we do that? It's, it's almost like the next step, but it's still only what you do with the club at impact. To make the ball go higher or lower, you need to adjust the relationship between your hands and the club face at impact or club head at impact. We have this pitching wedge has 48 degrees of loft when it's standing straight up. If it's leaning forward 5 degrees, it's also reduced the loft 5 degrees, so now it's 43. Now it's 38. And so if we hit like mine, I'm going to hit my pitching wedge with a lot of shaft lean forward. I could reduce it to almost a two iron. I think I could. I don't need to. It's better to take another club. But when you when it's windy or like it is right now, uh, you need to be a little bit steeper into the ball and, and maybe it's actually pretty good to learn how to hit it high when you want and low when you want. It's always both. You can't just start hitting it lower because one day you want to hit it higher and you should be able to understand the difference between high and low. So it's all about, it's not set up again. I mean, all you guys have seen that my ball is mostly back in my stance, 95% of the time. I still don't hit it low because my shaft lean at impact is not this. Even though my ball is back in my stance, I still can hit it with almost no shaft lean. I'm going to hit it high. The feeling you get will be the difference between this and this, between the club leaning a lot forward or a little bit forward. First one, the low one. I'm almost holding on. I'm just not using, I don't hold on, but I'm not using this. I'm using my arm still. Even though it's a soft shot, I'm not hitting it hard. I'm still using a lot of arm, but not so much wrist. This one I want to hit higher and then I need the wrist to get the club to look like this instead of that. High and low, now a high one. The finish feels completely different. This one, I'm leaning a lot forward. The weight is almost gone. It's going to the target. Hitting my normal shot, it feels like I'm standing up. High and low finish. So again, we're back to don't mind the swing. If you learn to hit different golf shots, your swing will look different. Therefore, I, I don't think there is a swing. I, I don't think it is. I mean, again, look at Tiger. He has nine stock shots. Depending on what shot he's trying to hit, the swing looks totally different. So if someone says, oh, Tiger's doing that. Yeah, it all depends on what shot he's hitting because he's not doing it that with the next shot. I let my hands do all the work. I like the feeling. My hands can hit any golf shot. And actually, every golfer I met can hit all kinds of golf shots. All that depends on if you start by understanding, then practice, and then make it your own. What is, what is going on in my body? What do I need to do? We also should be able to hit a fairly high fairway wood because fairway woods 
could be a problem for many people. They hit it too low. This is a Callaway Firewood Maverick. Really love it. Good club. Um, it's a bit old now, but it's a really nice golf club. And hitting this, I'm actually trying to get the back part of the sole of the club to get into the ground. I'm not trying to get the leading edge into the ground. Because what happens if I have the leading edge forward and into... Oh yeah, it's the same thing. These clubs really need high ball flight. This is a club that should transport the ball a long way. And if you watch TV, I mean, it's incredible how high guys like Rory hit these golf clubs. He's really using the sole of the club. It's not stuck in the ground. He's really using the sole of the club to get that height. So now, high ball flight, five wood. Again, pretty high finish because I released the wrist. I let the club go through. I didn't hold it. Don't overload your brain with too much thinking. I mean, it's, uh, we make it so complicated. And again, I don't think there is a golf swing, but you can learn to hit a lot of golf shots and be creative when you play golf.